Fuck, the MP should focus on housing and like being real as well, being a bit more real, getting involved with the community, coming into care centre, places like care centre, and just getting involved with us so we know what's going on and who the MPs are, what they actually do, what what the plans are to do, and definitely I think the focus on housing is a main issue for obviously we're all, we're all in hostels, so focus on building more flats rather than unaffordable houses, which are unaffordable to people like ourselves. They're driving about in fast cars. There's people around here who can't afford it. I mean, the, the money that people live on, the DSF, the job seekers alone, the ESA, whatever, whatever making's on about, it all works out that, no, we can't afford to make this. We can't afford our luxury. All we can afford is their essentials. If the, if the new government come in and that lot, I would like to see that the more support in helping mental health services to stop saying youngsters and that lot who have had a breakdown through families and that lot have been, a, through, been through abuse and up to end and we look to crime, we look to drugs, we look to all that and we couple it homeless. When really, if we had someone who was there at the beginning who was helping us and through the system and that lot, we wouldn't actually end up doing what we're doing. And you would have a lot of people, you wouldn't see us on the streets, you would actually see us all working. I think focusing more on the community, like focusing on the kids as well of the community, like that are going to grow up in the future, they are the future, so focusing on them. Maybe build more youth clubs, community centres for kids to go to, so just so they've got a better future, I think. I think they should actually come and meet actual people, they should walk around and actually see and greet us and that lot, because we get, we get called bad names when there's nothing perfectly wrong with us. We all look smart, yeah, we have our problems, but we looked at something like we're not. People say like, oh, we're tramps and we're smack heads. We're not actually, a lot of us don't actually do smack and that lot. So most of us do actually get a shave and clean. It's just, we're stuck in a row, but we can't get out of that circle. It's because there's just no one who's willing to give us an hour a day or some, an hour a week or that odd few hours just to support to help us get out of the system. They want to come to where the actual homeless places are, where you get fed. They want to speak to the ladies behind the counter who do the cooking and who do an excellent job. They don't get enough credit. And even if they did, it would be only a little, you know, a little thing at paper, just the name. Why don't they come and ask us what these ladies do and how we feel? And maybe, yeah, but at the moment, they are doing now. They are doing now.